Wait, 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 wait. What's your name? Ariane. Okay, and where are we? You are here at the moment. What, what place is this off? This is the Polar Bear Habitat. Okay, and we're right there. Yep, at the Welcome Center. Okay, do you need to get that? Yeah. Nope, I can just start it from here. Okay. <laughs> and, okay, we're right there, number one. Mm -hmm. We go number two. Yeah, so at the number two, this is the viewing building. There's a lot of information about the bears. Um, in the enclosure A today, there's Ganook. In the enclosure B, there's Inukshuk. In the enclosure C, there's Henry. In this big lake enclosure, there's Eddie. He's been hiding out all day long today. Um, but there's a possible chance that people might see him swim around in lake or hand the fences. Okay. Um, unfortunately, the Ganook Cedar, which is just a short eight minute video, is closed. Okay. But you still have access to some of the buildings in the village, as well as the Silver Museum uh, back to the gift store. And the viewing building at Station 2, as I said earlier. Okay. Do you have anything to tell me about this place? Um, well, it's been 15 years that it's been open. Okay. Uh, there's not much else. Uh, the polar bears have all been uh, rescued. Some were born in captivity. Um, Eddie is our newest bear. He's uh, from the Quebec Aquarium. Okay. Um, he's our newest one. Uh, it's been almost two years that we've had him here. Oh. And we also did have a female uh, in uh, November. Uh, she recently passed away, unfortunately. Aww. Um, but yeah, we do still bring in some females, which is pretty rare though, because the males do interact with females, which causes problems. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we still bring Stupid in... Stupid males, eh? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Yikes. I actually get a kick out of this sign because if anybody actually thought they should anger one of those bears, yikes. Enormous, isn't it? Yeah. There's a couple, there's bigger ones down there. They just went down to the lake. They just them out. Yeah, they're just huge. <laughs> Holy crap, that thing's big. Hi, guy. Right. The size of that thing. even bigger. Oh. <laughs> um. You see the size of that thing? It's a big thing. Oh, holy mackerel. That thing is absolutely huge. Absolutely monstrous. I think it's enormous. Yeah. 
How's that for video? Look at this absolute size of that thing. Hi guy. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the absolute size of this thing is enormous. Unfortunately, this is closed due to Corona. But, this is what's in here also, which is kind of cool. Too bad it wasn't open this year. Okay, that's where it was up there. There's a big area where they can swim, apparently. It's freaking huge. That's monsters. You know, I always thought I would get up close to a polar bear until I saw its actual size. They're friggin' huge. This is kind of cool. <laughs> the old uh, traps. Yeah, a calm bear. Leg holds. So it's inside. Oh, cool. Oh, fox belt. Chair. It's like a coyote. Isn't that neat, eh? Huh. That's pretty neat. Move sailors. Lock this up. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What does it say? Okay, that is pretty neat. Like, honestly, that's pretty cool. <laughs> the size of that thing! Yeah. Oh my goodness! <laughs> no! <laughs> it just looks like it's just kind of moving in slow motion as it goes across.
<laughs> I know the size though. I'm trying to stay still, but I'm so excited, I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Must be hot though with the uh, Heavy. just getting out of the water and all that and fur. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at the so teeth on that thing. Oh, mackerel. A blur. <laughs> Oh, he's got a scratch. Yeah, well. We all have to do it. Here's a tree or wall. <laughs> yeah, we can do that too. <laughs> he's 
looking at you. I think he's jealous. Uh-huh. I was jealous he was swimming. Yeah. <laughs> I think you make a big fence out of hop in the water. <laughs> <laughs> That was the Canadian polar bear habitat. And I can't say enough about it. I really can't. I I am honestly shocked. Like, it, I, I'm just shocked. Like, to get in, to get in cost me, how much was it? $18.08 .08 to get in. And I can say I saw a polar bear right up close. Like, close, close. And they're enormous. They're absolutely huge like the pictures the videos they will not do it justice i'm telling you if you have a chance come up to cochran go to this place um the girl that right at the first of the video the girl that was talking to me explained a few things she was out driving around uh, a couple that um, had mobility issues and she was explaining stuff to them and she was so nice um there was a trainer there was a girl from australia she took some pictures for me like in close I'll put those in the video you'll see them in close so it doesn't have the the um what do you call it the uh, uh fence in between blocking the view she got a couple pictures for me the guy let out i she got the guy uh that kind of looks after the bears he got the one bear out in the area so i get some pictures of it i'm going how cool is that just so people can see the bears and that sort of stuff and it was funny too because i asked him i said do you ever uh, um, do you ever have any bears trying to get out? And he goes, no. And he said, we don't. Uh, they were changing around the habitat, like putting different toys, moving stuff around. And I guess it gets them, you know what I mean? So they can uh, have a change. And they have that giant lake there. And apparently the bears can go down and swim the lake. Like I was looking at them and one walked down, another walked down. I'm going, where the heck are they going? And I was talking to the guy and he said, oh, they go down the lake. I'm going awesome and it, it was hot like stupid hot it is what's the temperature today um it is like 31 degrees which is 87 degrees and it's pretty boiling like you can feel it i'm cooking um you know if you have kids take them up here expect this it's not a very big place either like everything's pretty condensed and expect to spend some time to walk around explore and hopefully you'll see them i saw them in this little pool thing where the bears can swim down i got some video of that that you saw i i'm serious like i've always want i always thought polar bears were kind of cool and i always wanted to see a polar bear i did for the longest time and you know um that was my chance i thought i'd have to go way the heck up north um, to see polar bears like you know what I mean like get a good look at polar bears but this this was awesome and this will not be the last time that I go here next time I pass through this area I will definitely go up and check them out now they say that the polar bears like when I was talking they said they're thin right now you know summer and that sort of thin uh, when it gets colder they just start to beef up and I think it'd be kind of neat to take a trek up here in the winter time just to actually see them. Um, that this has to be one of the best, um, the best trips visits of something I have ever seen. Like I have seen a lot of things, and a lot of stuff I don't even put on YouTube. Like I'll be honest with you, I don't put on. But I've seen a lot of things, and this has to be the absolute best. This is one of the highlights of my life weird eh Just crazy bears bears made it the highlight um i'm so excited i'm so i was shaking i was shaking looking at them i was shaking i was so excited <laughs> anyway guys if you have a chance come on up to cochran check this place out and i'm gonna get the name exactly right okay i'll put the address and everything else in uh but it's called the canadian polar bear habitat it's in cochran ontario canada and I will put, like I say, the information in so you guys can find it. And like I say, if you have the chance, come on up, check this place out. Uh, the people here are great. Uh, they know their stuff and talk to them. Like, they, they'll talk to you. They'll talk to you and explain stuff. I, I guess I'm rambling, but I can't, 
I can't express how happy I am with this place, how happy my visit was. I was only here like a few hours, like a couple hours, but I, I didn't even want to leave. I, I kept looking at them. Anyway, anyway, guys, I'm rambling. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, you guys take care. If you get a chance, come on up here, check it out. You guys take care. Be safe on the road. Added little bonus. There's a, a snowmobile warehouse, and I've had some of these. <laughs> I think I have one of those. I had one of those. Wow. Look at that freak. <laughs> Perfect. Mustang. I want to buy that right now. 68 Polaris Mustang. Nice. Polaris Indy. Hey, look at that thing. A Bolens. I never even heard of that. That's pretty neat. <sighs> okay. Now, I think I want this. <laughs> Hilarious. Nice. Citation. I had one of them. Hmm. Matthew Ferguson. Wow, I remember those really well. Oh, yeah, I've reused snowmobiles, so. Kids ones. Cool.